These are the stories that we need to tell to the coming generations. That's what was told to Israel over and over again. You need to remember these things so that you can tell them to the next generation. And we can't tell a story that we don't know by heart. And here's the thing. You know, everyone's living in a story, right? It's just a question of whether they're living in a true story or a false story. There are people who are living in all kinds of false stories, kind of like the one that Pharaoh was living in. Who is Yahweh? I am. I am self-sufficient. I provide for all of my own needs. I am self-existent. I create everything that you see around me and then I sustain it by my mighty powerful hand. I am all-knowing. I am all-seeing. We have a thousand I am's that we live in and tell ourselves that these are a true and good story. But what this story is telling us is the one true story. And it is there is I am and it is not me. But that I am looked down and heard my groanings. He saw and he heard and he remembered and he acted. And that I am, he toppled all my idols. He rescued me from the narrow place from slavery to freedom, from darkness to light. He led me through the door of Christ's blood. Lovingly and tenderly, he washed me with the waters of baptism. My sins were drowned. My old life was gone, cut off no more. He led me into the wilderness to test me, that ultimately my faith might prove as gold. He sustains me with daily bread that is the bread of life. He quenches my thirst with living water. He grants me rest for my soul. He turns my eyes toward the promised land. This is the true story. Anyone who has found their way into it knows that it is true and that the other stories are false we should be able to tell it to the coming generations, that we might fear God more than Pharaoh in everything we do, and that we might render to him the worship that he is due, and that all the world would know that Yahweh is God alone. Yahweh delivers us.